The story of Crazy Joe was torn from yesterday's headlines, and it's as terrifying as tomorrow's. We have arrived at the Mahoning Drive-In, and there is a line of cars waiting to get in. So, uh, we are stuck in this long line. I've been here several times. I've never seen a line like this before. And, uh, you turn around pole. That is the you turn around pole. Into line. Into line. You didn't finish the sentence. You, you turn around pole into line. You turn around pole into line. There you go. That's, that's some. That's poetry right there. That is. That's a haiku. Good morning. It's Crazy Joe and Dave. And Dave, you've never been here before, have you? No, first time at the Mahoning. We are at, back at the Mahoning Drive-In. I, I was just here two weeks ago for Bill and Ted. That screen right there will be showing not one, but two Muppet movies quite soon. And uh, you had to come out for this. Even though you've never been here, you're like, oh, Muppets? I'm Muppets, in. I got to come out. I yeah. wore my Muppet shirt. You wore your Muppet shirt. It's got all your favorite Muppets. It's got Kermit, Uncle O, o Grimacy. <laughs> uh, animal. <laughs> There you go. So, uh, hey, let's check this out. First thing I'm noticing over here is they got a Muppet Show photo op, and I think uh, I think we got a I think we got to get a picture in there. Pretty exciting. Look who I just ran into. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> it's good, good, to, good to see you. Good to see you too. Ran into an old friend of mine, and she's got a friend with her. How you doing? I'm Adam. I'm Stuffy. <laughs> nice. Not, oh, is that is that one of the bunnies? Bunny. <laughs> Who's this? I'm Igor. Nice to meet you. Ah. You excited for the movie? Oh yeah. Uh. <laughs> It's a little wet out right now, but I'll manage. Yeah, well, that's why we have cars, right? Yeah. And what's this guy selling over uh, here? Just a bunch of Muppet stuff. You know how it you, is. You got Muppet stuff? Muppet stuff. Well, that's You're in the right place for that. Uh, apparently so. Apparently so. It's going good, man. How are things? Uh, did, did you see Lisa Soares is here? It's amazing. I did. I did. Le uh, are, are we meeting for the first time in person after years of, uh, of you uh, throwing the undesirables out of my... <laughs> live streams. That's uh, my job, apparently. Yeah. Basically, her, her trigger word is scam. If she sees the word scam or mean girls, she knows get them out of there. Stop trying to make fetch happen. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not. It's never going to happen, Gretchen. Stop trying to make it happen. So these are like 10 a piece, right? It's 55. So you have driven down all the way from Rhode Island to be here. Yep. How's the, how's the drive? Uh, a lot of rain. About four states worth of rain. How long, how long was it? Uh, supposed to be four and a half hours, but I'd say about five and a half, almost six. With the, with the stop, though. We had to stop and get some White Castle, you know, so. Is it, is it worth it? Worth the drive? Yeah, very worth it. Worth it so far. Was was Harold or, and or Kirk Kumar there? That's, no. That's what you have to ask. They go to White Castle. They just left, so. I think they're in them. Guantanamo Bay or something. Could be, could be, yeah. could be. And this TV that two weeks ago was showing Bill and Ted Face the Music is now showing episodes of The Muppet Show. And over here, oh, there's Igor again. Check out the concession stand, Igor. Yeah, it looks delicious. <laughs> over here's the old uh, projection booth. Let's take a peep in there, see where the magic happens. There it is. Quite crowded, more crowded than when Bill and Ted were here a couple weeks ago. And appropriately, they put up a Muppets poster. That was not hanging here a couple weeks ago. Some of Chris's Muppet stuff it says, please do not touch. I say, try to stop me. Lisa brought with her today a 35 millimeter trailer for Muppets from Space. Muppets from Space. I think so, it's teaser trailer number one, I think. So it's going to be on one of these reels in here, right? Somewhere in here. 
There's Gene doing his DJ set. I'll whisper so as not to disturb him. So that, that could be your film right there, Lisa. It could be. Could be. Never then, seen it before. Then again, maybe it's not. Could be not. They could have exploded into a million pieces, just like all the Jim Henson good stuff. Virgil, the guy who puts this all together, the guy who makes the magic happen. Yes, it's a team effort, but tonight we tapped into uh, a serious fandom with this Muppet mayhem we have on our hands. So. Oh yes, the line to get in from the road uh, was something else. It's insanity. I mean, look at this. We got lines for days, the concession stands jam-packed, the uh, people coming out in costume. It is magical. And, you know, the experience that we have here showing 35 millimeter, it's unique. But the idea of collecting fan bases and bringing them in so they can all gather together, this is what it's all about. We had sing-alongs without even, you know, prompting it. <laughs> now here's the big question. A lot of people have been asking me over the past week, the 2011 movies on 35 millimeter. Believe it or not, yeah. So the cutoff for us was 2014, 2015. That's when Hollywood really forced everybody to shift to digital and said we're not striking prints anymore. So we actually locked out. It was right at that cutoff. Yeah. Thank you for putting this together. Dude, look forward to the next one. This is um Is this an amazing. annual event now? I think we've birthed something here. <laughs> they still have the Bill and Ted poster from two weeks ago. We had the artists that designed this poster on the video two weeks ago. Over here at the merch table, they're selling some of Gene Beretta's books. This looks like they're signed, but uh, Gene, who is, is DJing right now in the booth, these are his books. He wrote, uh, he wrote, and uh, he's the artist on several of them. He's not the artist on this one, the Spielberg one, but uh, or or the George Washington Carver one. But the rest, he he also is the artist. He's a very talented artist. And there is a uh, a board advertising some of his work. I bought one of these posters, although I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I don't really have a whole lot of extra room for it, but I bought one. Tonight's special is the Manama Nachos. Large order of nachos topped with seasoned ground beef. There you go. Perhaps later, I will put some Manama Nachos in my mouth. Look at those wieners. Those wieners look delicious. Dave, are you touching the wieners? My hand's nowhere near those wieners. Today they also have Muppet cake pops and chocolate covered pretzel rods. Does that mean they're Muppet chocolate covered pretzel rods? I don't know. Inquiring minds want to know. We found the cake pops. They got muffins on them. It gets so hot in here, we have to have yeah. them frozen. Everything goes Looks like each one's got a different muffin they on it. Do. Or, or, well, I see I see two skeeter. No, I see one skeeter. No, scooter. there's a gonzo. There's a gonzo? Yeah. All right. I know there's a Kermit somewhere too. Yeah. And the pretzel rods. There they are. We got a group here who's all decked out. We got Kermit, Beaker, Bunsen, Fozzie. Pretty exciting. You got you got muffins. It's not that dark yet, so you can barely see it. But the podcast, the uh, the or the live stream, the Beretta Brothers YouTube live stream is happening right now up on the screen. It's very faint because it's not dark, but you could actually be streaming this on YouTube as I record this. In fact, I was watching it on my phone. And uh, Bill and Gene Beretta, Gene is here right now. Bill is uh, remote from California, and they're they're joined by Brian Henson amongst other people. So. There you go. That's happening right now before the movie. And unfortunately, it's also starting to rain. There was an 80% chance of rain for tonight in the 8 o'clock hour. And as we get closer to 8, it's starting to come down. But I have an appropriate umbrella for tonight. So I'm prepared. Dave. Dave. Do you see this vat of cheese over here? Yeah. I don't want to see you dipping anything in there. Nothing. You understand me? 
don't know if there's some I have to say with this. I don't know. If there's, is there some line? No, but it's nacho cheese. Oh, it's not. Oh, there it is. Okay. Joe, I have a question. So, did you get the number one selling item of this, this event? Did you what? get it? Yeah. Because it sold out. The Manama nachos. I saw it. I saw the Manama nachos. But they were missing one key ingredient. What's that? When they told me they were having Manama nachos, I said you need to have one thing. What's that? The d d Doritos. Manamana. Do do Doritos. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. It sold out. You definitely got it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> so the costume contest is going on, and I just ran into Floyd. How's it going, Floyd? It's pretty groovy. <laughs> Did you enter the con costume contest? What did you say? Did you enter the costume contest? I did. What did, what did, what, what did you go dressed as? Um, I'm Floyd. <laughs> I'm Floyd. Wait, can I have my guitar? Oh, sorry. Who has my guitar? Oh. All, right. All right. Good meeting you, Floyd. Thank you. I ran into my old friend Amanda, and she is here as Janice for the costume contest. Like, hi. It's so nice to see everybody. Oh, absolutely, for sure. <laughs> Did you enjoy the new show? Oh, I loved it. I thought it was so good. Well, it's good seeing you. You too. So, right, so we were talking to this gentleman earlier. He had the Menomina puppet. What, what's, what's your yeah, name? Yeah, my name is Richard Michael Gomez. Um, I have an Instagram and oh everything. Gosh, no if you want to, will I be able to pick up on camera? Uh, yeah, I think okay, so. Okay, I'll share it with you. Um, so, so you designed like you had the yes. Menomina when we saw you earlier. Okay. There you go. You all right, all I'm going to start there. following you. Thank you so much. You, you've designed all these puppets. You, yes, I've made here. all these puppets. I have a Gonzo and a couple of those like that Manawana puppet floating I, around. I just saw your Gonzo. I'm going to yes. have to find it and cut it in right here. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah absolutely. But it's incredible. And you, you're Yorick from Salmon Yes, Friends. It, you yes, do amazing that around work. Too. I've lost him. I hope he's not eating anybody right now. <laughs> you know. Well, I just wanted to let you know, I'm really impressed. Uh, Thank you, you so like, much. I saw that means the a Gonzo. Ton. The Gonzo, it looks, it looks screen Thank accurate. Thank you. Like, uh, you can put that in a movie. Thank I you. I made, I finished him the day of my 19th birthday um, on, in July last year. <laughs> so, well, uh, hopefully, maybe this year I'll make another one. All right. Well, yeah. thank you. I'm going to start following your Instagram. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. All right. We're going to have a trailer reeled in the movie starting. Here we go. This is pretty awesome. Between movies, Gene Beretta led us all in a sing-along of Rainbow Connection. Everyone stood around, puppets in hand, those who had puppets, and there was a Rainbow Connection sing-along. It was pretty, pretty cool. Never saw anything quite like this before at the drive-in. All right, it is dark, it is late. We are one movie down. There was just a sing-along. Did you sing along, Lisa? Of course I did. There was a sing-along for, um, uh, I'm so old, I can't remember the name of the damn song that we literally just sang. Yes, Rainbow Connection. And uh, your trailer looked great. Yeah, it looked pretty good. That was the first time it had ever been played? Had or ever been played. They had to splice it into it, take the label off, whatever the stuff on the, each end is on it that they have to take off. It was a brand new trailer. I had no idea. Yeah, Lisa brought the 35 millimeter trailer for Muppets from Space yep. that she has owned and never watched because she doesn't. Surprise, she doesn't have a 35 millimeter projector. Not many people do. No, well, not many people do. Usually the people <laughs> that do have like six of them. But <laughs> So we saw it projected up on that screen. Oh, look at that. There's, there's animal. Don't be an animal. Please be courteous to your neighbors. This is awesome. This is great. It's a, a good fun. night. And the rain has stopped. I think we're in the clear for the night yeah. now. Yeah, I think we're going to sit outside. So, I don't know, where are you, where are you seated? Uh, one row up. Three. We oh, might, four, five we, in. Maybe we'll try to grab our stuff and move over your way. I'll have to check with Dave, but You're welcome it would to. Be, be nice. And uh, Gene's up there. There's Dave. Oh, there he is. Is this a video? This is a video. <laughs> oh, we got a video. Did you go pee pee tinkles? Yeah, I put it in this can. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> it's a mountain dip. All right. Well, one more movie to go. Let's check this out. One, one more Muppet movie to go. A couple trailers before the second movie. All right, the drive-in is over. Dave's all tuckered oh, out. What happened? Yeah. Oh. Uh, what time is it? 
Oh, lights went out. <laughs> the movie's over. The movie's over. Was it good? Yeah, it was oh, good. Good. Okay, I'm glad we enjoyed it. Yes, yes, you enjoyed yeah, it immensely. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, oh, it's your yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. It's your first time at the Mahoning. What did you think of the Mahoning? It's fun. It's good. It's it's fun. It's just it's late. It's late. And it's I'm late. Old, and I don't stay up this late. And uh, it's time for bed. Yes. So I'm gonna put on this pajama pants. Oh. Because that's what we do. You keep on okay, wearing them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody. Give us a good like, uh, subscribe, t tell everyone about us, you know, share this video if you enjoyed it, and you know, and uh, come on, join us for the next adventure. We'll we'll get crazy again. Let's get crazy again. Get, we'll get crazy again. Keep keep wearing those pajamas. He's gonna put his pajamas I'm on because it's late. Yes. Yeah. And you can keep wearing yours. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone you need. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Oh, it's a trap. Some people call them bitches. Some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now we're having fun. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now the song is done.